Hey everyone, this is Prithvi and I welcome you once again to the YouTube channel of the techbulletin.com. I'm back with another video on WordPress and in this video I'll be telling you on how to create a gallery inside the WordPress without using any plugin. This might actually be a very useful feature once you are having you know, many images and uh, you do not want them to mess up with the post content which you have and you do not want them to play with the alignment of, of the content you have inside. So let's see how you can make a gallery you know, using the inbuilt features of WordPress. So I'm not getting into the you know the formalities entering the title and the content. I'll uh, directly get onto the point. So if you have to create a gallery inside the content, just click on add media as you usually do. Uh, you have a feature on the uh, left hand side as you can see create a gallery. Just click on this, create a gallery, and now it'll give you two options. You can either create a gallery from the from the images which you have already uploaded, or you can upload some more new files and you can create a gallery out of them. So in this video, I'll be uploading some new files. So these are around six to seven new files. I'll click them all at once, open. And as you can see, all the images are getting uploaded at the same time. So the first thing which I always recommend everyone to do while working with WordPress is uh, whenever you're uploading a, an image, I always advise you to put the alternate text. So in the alternate text, you can do it for every single post. Alt text one, the same thing you can go with, click on the other image and you can put that. Well, this alt text one and alt text two, I'm just putting it for reference. You should use, a you should use the text, you should use a keyword of around two to three or four words which is related to the image, which tells the search engines what the image is all about. So once you have inserted the alternate text for all the images which you want to be, you know, which you want to see in a gallery, and all the image, uh, in this case you can see uh, there are seven images which are selected and I want them to be in the gallery. Just click on create a new gallery. Now there's another different thing called caption. And if, uh, caption is a really important thing once you're giving a gallery because uh, there, there's a set of around, you know, many images, five to 10 or maybe 20, 30 images. And people get really confused while determine, you know, while, while deciding that which image is about what. So this is a very cool, uh, this is a very nice feature. As you can uh, give the caption right here, even if you forget in the last option, in the last step. So once you do that, and uh, now it is asking you where, where you want to link the web, uh, your website to. So, sorry, link the image to. Uh, if someone clicks on the image, where, where, where should it be taken? So it is always advisable to click on the media file. Columns, it depends on you. You can keep it a two column gallery. You can keep it a three, four column gallery. And so, I'll just make it two. And we'll, we'll just check. So I'll just click on insert gallery and as you can see this, the images come in a very systemized manner with, a, with, a, with proper spacing. So if you just want to see the preview, I'll click on the preview. And this is how you can see. So this gets organized in a very nice manner. So this, so that you don't have to worry about aligning the image if you have you know more than one or maybe like, for more than three, four images to be inserted in a post. So this, this is a very simple way to do it and you do not need to install any plugin, you do not need to do any coding uh, kind of stuff. This just uses one or two inbuilt features in WordPress. So that's all for this uh, video. I think uh, I have uh, covered the topic. If you have any other doubt, let me know. Thanks for watching.